Electric trucks were a somewhat nebulous concept, as Bill Gates once shared, until the emergence of the Tesla Semi. The Tesla Semi has shattered negative doubts about the capability of an electric truck to exceed 500 miles in range or to carry a payload of up to 70,000 pounds. It has exceeded these expectations. From the moment it existed only in the minds of its designers, it held profound significance in reshaping how people perceived the future of transportation. An ambitious idea conceived by J.B. Straubel back in 2016. We have delved into and analyzed the specific weight of the Tesla Semi to determine whether it is as heavy as previously thought and why Tesla chose to develop this game changer. Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Heavy trucks are 1% of vehicles on road, but consume 18% of the fuel, like 18% of emissions. And so by replacing one truck, we can make a huge impact on the environment. We have received many comments from the public regarding noise pollution in the city area in previous episodes. And it is estimated that 60% of it is caused by heavy duty trucks. We wonder what would happen if electric trucks became more popular, even though they may be considered less flexible than diesel trucks. The positive impacts are commendable. Let's talk about the Tesla Semi and the mysteries behind it. Why is Tesla developing this big rig? Everything started in 2016 when Giga Nevada was completed and began operating to support energy supply for electric car production in Fremont. The average distance from Tesla's Factory 1 to Fremont is 260 miles, so it would be meaningless for Tesla to transport battery packs and electric vehicle components on a diesel truck. If, on average, the company makes multiple component distribution trips per day, the amount of emissions released into the environment during these journeys is significant. We found that on average, each diesel truck emits about 404 grams of CO2 per mile. This is quite a small level, but in the long term, it will be quite a negative problem for air quality. Taking this issue seriously, former Tesla director J.B. Straubel came up with the idea of producing an electric truck and research on electric trucks began to be carried out. J.B. Straubel's idea for developing electric trucks attracted Jerome Guillen, another Tesla executive, to join this significant project. Prior to this, Jerome Guillen had at least six years of experience in the truck development field, most notably with the Freightliner Cascadia. Jerome Guillen, along with Franz and the design team, focused on extensive research to turn the project into a real program and accomplish the emissions-free vehicle mission. Another reason we have discovered is that Tesla had plans for a dedicated vehicle for transporting components previously, a vehicle exclusive to the company without being confused with any other truck. This factor led Tesla to develop the bullet-shaped electric truck or the Shinkansen-inspired vehicle with a drag coefficient of 0.22. The decision to develop the Tesla Semi largely depended on Elon Musk. But how could Musk reject this idea when the electric truck market was beginning to receive attention from commercial companies? While electric trucks might be more expensive than diesel trucks, this wasn't a major issue because businesses have more capital or can leverage more financing options compared to individuals. Not only that, but the manufacturer also recognized the consumer trend of people wanting to save money while also being environmentally conscious. So, if Tesla Semi could save money for its customers and maintain environmental friendliness, it could potentially revolutionize the transportation industry. For example, on average, a diesel truck requires one gallon for approximately eight miles on city routes. And for a 500-mile journey, it needs about 62 gallons, costing the driver nearly $300, which is quite expensive. In contrast, within the first three years, the Tesla Semi can save customers up to $200,000. One reason we admire Tesla the most is their consideration of the driver experience. The sad reality is that the average age of truck drivers in the United States is 65, and they spend a lot of time in their trucks as a mobile office. Therefore, creating the Tesla Semi, which will have less engine noise and a spacious cabin, 
will enhance the experience. Why are the Tesla Semi specifications considered a secret diary of Elon Musk? When asked about the parameters such as the exact weight of the current Tesla Semi, we certainly will not have an answer because it is still a prototype. The manufacturer does not want to announce at the present time partly as we know. Tesla Semi is still in the process of evaluating the results of the daycap version. I don't even feel like I'm pulling anything. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, we're pushing a good load back there, 60, 70,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. Based on the information provided by Jay Leno and Priestley, the combined weight of two Tesla Semis in the Fontaine Traverse HT is 60,000 to 70,000 pounds, taking the higher number. We have referenced an estimated weight of the Fontaine Traverse HT at around 17,700 pounds, and the calculation yields each semi at 26,150 pounds. On the other hand, this weight can also vary depending on the trim. For example, the 300-mile range version will have a smaller battery pack and a simpler powertrain design than the high-end version. So, what do you think about this weight of the Tesla Semi? Not only the weight of the semi truck, but the most controversial part every time this electric truck appears is always its battery pack. The question often asked is, how much does it weigh? A battery pack offers 500 miles of range on a single charge and allows for a total of up to 82,000 pounds is outrageous at the moment. It shows off Tesla's technology at a different level when we look at some of the other electric trucks on the market. Look at the range of other electric trucks like the e Cascadia or Nikola Trey. They only reach 330 miles. Battery technology has always been something that Tesla has invested heavily in, as it continuously expands supply from China and improves productivity in Giga Nevada. The manufacturer has never talked about the weight of the battery pack, and we only know it runs at a capacity of 900 kilowatt hours and consumes 1.7 kilowatt hour per mile. Many people have expressed concern about the weight of the battery pack in the Tesla Semi, but we estimate it to be lighter than 11,000 pounds. We base this estimate on the weight of the battery pack in the Model S, which weighs 1,183 pounds and has an energy density of 186 watt-hours per kilogram. The Model S has a total capacity of 100 kilowatt-hours. On the other hand, the Tesla Semi uses a 900 kilowatt hour battery pack. We performed a simple calculation by dividing the battery pack capacity by the energy density of the Model S battery pack, which gave us a result of 4,838 kilograms or 10,665 pounds. This weight is quite reasonable, as many other analysts also estimate that the heart of the Tesla Semi is in this range or even lighter because technology is limitless. The manufacturer will certainly find ways to minimize the disadvantages of the battery pack through the manufacturing process or even use a completely new battery technology for this big rig. Currently, the Tesla Semi is using conventional lithium-ion batteries, and with the pace of 4680 battery development at current factories, the upcoming version may be fully equipped with this battery technology as it is co-produced in Nevada, provided that the quantity is sufficient for the Cybertruck or up to several hundred million cells. The weight could be reduced as 4680 provides higher energy density with a smaller size. It is worth noting that the weight of the battery pack is only one factor in the overall weight of the Tesla Semi. The Tesla truck will be heavier than a traditional diesel truck due to the weight of the battery pack and electric motors. However, Tesla Semi's electric powertrain is expected to provide significant advantages in terms of performance, reduced maintenance costs, and lower emissions than diesel trucks. Ultimately, releasing specific specifications for the Tesla Semi is not easy because it would make the Tesla Semi less attractive and easy for competitors to target. Moreover, the current specifications do not determine much because they are still in their early stages of development and research, and there are certainly both advantages and disadvantages. Most importantly, let's look at what it's achieved so far. Why is the Tesla Semi sleeper cab version such a promising prospect? Eventually, we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. This information is certainly what Tesla Semi fans have been waiting for the most about a cabin area with a sleeper. 
Currently, Tesla only offers the day cab version for daytime driving as a test of the Tesla Semi's efficiency. According to Priestley, for the new version of this big rig, Tesla will allow drivers to stay on the road for multiple days at a time. But this expansion also comes with challenges, as it depends on the development of the charging network. Unlike the approximately 10,000 truck stops where diesel trucks can refuel on the go, mega chargers are a major limitation for the Tesla Semi because they are heavily dependent on them. This leads us to question whether the company's focusing on developing more mega chargers rather than electric semi trucks. If there are a large number of electric semi trucks, but the manufacturer does not provide enough charging stations, it will make everything difficult to manage. Everything would be easier if there were enough charging stations. Simply, the rig would leave a fully charged station, pick up a large load nearby, drive a few hundred miles, then stop at a mega charge to charge as well as take a half hour break required by law and finish driving to the destination. Then, they would pick up a load to return home, stop at a mega charger to rest, and continue the rest of the way. 700 miles one way, 1400 mile round trip in two days and possibly with just one mega charger strategically placed and slower charging at the destination to be able to go another 100 to 200 miles overnight. Once mega chargers are as common as superchargers today, long haul road transport will be feasible and that's when the adoption of these trucks will really take off. The addition of a bed is revealed to not extend the overall length of the Tesla Semi. The manufacturer is expected to mainly modify the size of the cab for example, by extending a small distance to the rear. Currently, with about 70 units produced, the company could actually produce more than that number. But the Tesla Semi is still in the pilot phase, so this is not necessary. To put it simply, the current daytime running version is just a first step towards the sleeper cab version later. Priestley confirmed that the company is collecting data and feedback from drivers to improve before entering mass production. Tesla's launch of a sleeper version will refute the negative opinions about the limited interior and lack of investment by the manufacturer, which also helps to increase the gap with diesel trucks. In our opinion, the sleeper version of the Tesla Semi may be released quite late, around the end of 2024. Although the designs and research have been implemented many times, the production of Semi still faces many challenges at the present. However, we are rather skeptical that the price of the Tesla Semi could exceed the current speculated price of $180,000. It could go up to $200,000 or $250,000 with the sleeper cab version along with a range of new features that have never been seen in the day cab version. Although the price may increase, it is low because the average electric truck costs more than $300,000. So. Is the Tesla Semi really as emission-free as the manufacturer expects? It's undeniable that the CO2 emissions generated during the production of electric vehicles are 59% higher than those generated during the production of traditional internal combustion engine vehicles, primarily due to the production of batteries. Although they are one of the best options available at present, electric vehicles still generate emissions at various stages of their life cycle and there is still a long way to go before they become 100% green. The Tesla Semi is no exception, with a relatively large battery pack weighing approximately 8 to 10,000 pounds. However, it is unique in that the Nevada factory uses as much solar energy as possible, with a solar park on the roof of the Tesla Gigafactory 1 with a capacity of up to 24 megawatts. As a result, the production of a battery pack for the Tesla Semi will reduce the pressure on electricity and other energy consumption. More importantly, it will end after it goes into operation on American roads. Originally, Tesla planned to produce about 50,000 of these trucks in 2024. With a production rate of 50,000 semis per year, Tesla would actually become one of the largest truck manufacturers in the country today. However, this seems unlikely because the Tesla Semi is not a priority at this time and the battery problem may not have been solved. The sleeper cab version has been eagerly awaited to see how it is designed and refreshed and what impact it will have on the performance of this Tesla truck. We will soon have the answer. Emissions vehicles are being considered by the government and agencies quite a lot according to the Department of Energy. Medium and heavy duty trucks generate nearly 30% of carbon emissions on highways. Stricter emission standards for truck smoke will take effect in 2027, 
which could force companies to switch to electric versions like this Tesla fleet. In conclusion, the Tesla Semi may not be perfect in every aspect at this moment, but the results and feedback from drivers who have experienced this electric truck have consistently been positive and highly praised. It offers a sense of ease and comfort in driving, with an incredibly spacious cabin filled with driver-centric features and equipment. The cabin embodies the harmonious blend of Tesla's cutting-edge design and technology. The addition of a sleeper in the upcoming version marks a significant milestone for this large-scale endeavor. While specifications like the estimated weight of 26,150 pounds are based on our research and might not be precise down to the last digit, they provide a useful estimation. With the potential to carry up to 82,000 pounds, the Tesla Semi stands on equal footing with diesel trucks, proving itself worthy of transforming the industry once it enters mass production. The Tesla Semi embodies a vision of sustainable transportation and innovation, offering a promising glimpse into the future of freight transport. As it continues to evolve and mature, its impact on the industry and the environment is bound to be significant. Tesla's dedication to enhancing the driving experience and pushing the boundaries of electric trucking holds the promise of a more sustainable and efficient future. So, what do you think about the strengths and shortcomings of the Tesla Semi, about its sleeper cab version? More importantly, how do you feel about Tesla's potential for mass production of this electric truck in the future? We appreciate your contributions. We hope you will have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.